assalamu alaikum in this video i'll be solving question number 3 of exercise 12.1 from chapter angle in a segment of a circle aob and cod are two intersecting chords of a circle show that the triangle aod and boc are equiangular so first of all we are going to draw a circle and then we'll draw aob and cod the chords which are intersecting and then we'll see which two triangles are formed that we have to prove that they are equiangular so let's say this is a circle, a circle with center O. A, O, B and C, O, D are two intersecting chords. So let's make two chords. So A, O, B. Let's say this is A, O and B. Now we are supposed to make C, O and D. Okay, so these are two intersecting chords, C, O and D, right? So we have made it, A, O, B and C, O, D are two intersecting chords of a circle, right? Now let's write it down, what is given to us and what we have to prove. So given is, in a circle with center O, in a circle with center O, now we are going to AOB and COD are two intersecting chords. Right? What we have to prove? Now the two triangles which are formed, that is triangles A. Oh, sorry, triangles A, O, D and B, O, C are equiangular. Equiangular. So let's see how triangle is going to form. We'll be doing construction. Since we have to form a triangle A, O, D. So we are going to join A to D. Join a to D and we have to form B O C so we'll join B to C and we'll label angles since we have to prove it that they are equiangular so all angles of these two triangles must be equal so label angles as one set one till let's see how many angles we are going to form three angles from one triangle three angles from another triangle so we are going to make three uh, six triangles okay so let's join a to d and b to c right okay and we are going to label the angles as let's say angle one and angle two similarly and angle three and angle four angle five you can even do your own labeling so Let's see how we are going to prove it further. We'll be writing down proof with the help of statements and reasons. Statements and reasons. Let's draw a line. Okay. Now, if you see the angle 1 and angle 2. Angle 1 is equal to angle 2. Why? Because these are vertically opposite angles and which are equal. So the reason is vertically opposite angles. Okay, now let's see how angle 3 is equal to, uh, okay, angle 4 is equal to angle 3. Now how these two angles, angle 3 and angle 4 are same, angle 3 and angle 4 are same, because they are standing on the same arc which is AC, right? Is AC ki wada se angle 4 banna is AC ki wada se angle 3 banna. So standing on the same arc, which is arc AC, angles in the segment are equal, right? So this is also the theorem. We are going to write standing on the same arc. Arc is AC. So angles in same segment are equal that is why angle 3 is equal to angle 4 
okay now let's see the third angle angle 5 and we write angle 6 is equal to angle 5 how angle 5 and angle 6 are equal let me write it with the other color this is angle 5 and this is angle 6 and this is formed because of an arc BD right because and we'll write down the reason that standing on the same arc and the arc here it is BD BD arc ki wajah se aapke paas angle 6 or 5 ban rahe hain so angles in the same segment are equal so now you see from the three equations equation 1 2 and 3 1 4 and 6 belongs to this triangle AOD and 2 3 5 angle belongs to triangle BOC these triangle angles are equal so therefore all the angles are equal so you can say both the triangles are equiangular triangles therefore triangles a o d and triangle b o c are equiangular so equiangular proof karne ke liye humne kya kiya dono uh, triangles ke angles ko equal proof kar diya right using the theorem I hope you understand this sum. Thank you so very much. Allah Hafiz.